fuck is that noise? There's definitely an animal in here. Let's just get out of here. It's super dangerous and I know that swimming pool's around this area somewhere. Are you creeped out? Yeah. <laughs> we get attacked by monkeys so I swear I'm not doing another Amy's Crypt video. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm currently on Corregidor Island, just outside of the coast of the Philippines. And I'm just walking up to the abandoned Maolong military barracks. I was supposed to be haunted to do an investigation, but I wanted to check in with you guys first because we're on this island. There's only one of a couple who is staying here the night. And this place is super spooky and secluded. And it's completely dark as well. We are is that noise we're walking up to the abandoned ruin to investigate it there's no street lights there's no convenience store there's no one to call if anything goes wrong this is just an island full of ruins basically so stay tuned it's going to be a spooky night is it is that a cat oh that's got to be a cat yeah it's a cat come on so this is what we can see the only light here is from our torch and it's about a 50 minute walk to where we're headed. So we're hoping we have enough torchlight to last us the night and to get back to the little inn on the island that we are staying at. All right guys, so we haven't made it to the barracks that we want to investigate yet, but we have made it to some barracks and I just wanted to show you them because it just illustrates how many ruins are all around this island and a lot of them are in very bad condition. This place was heavily bombed during World War II. Um, so I'm gonna show you these ones because they look really spooky at night. Oh, there's animals in there. Go are they f***ing goats? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That is crazy. That scared me. Why are there goats in there? I don't know. Are you creeped out? Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> what the f is that? It sounds like duck farts. If we get attacked by monkeys tonight, I swear I'm not doing another Amy's Crypt video. <laughs> We're not getting attacked by monkeys. I don't even think that is a monkey. All right, so we've just come up to part of the barracks. These are actually detached barracks, though, from what we we're actually looking for. So we still have this hill to go up. We've already been walking for at least 45 minutes through this jungle. It's up a hill. Up a hill, and it's kind of humid. Whew. Let's keep going. All right, guys, we have just reached the Mile Long Barracks. You guys are interested in knowing a little bit of this place's sad, terrible history and the island's involvement in World War II, then go watch my part one video. Yeah, I explain it all there. But tonight we're here to investigate this allegedly haunted place. I'm telling you guys, it looks really creepy at night in the dark. So let's go check it out. Sound like a scream, but I think it was an animal. I just heard it the second time. It could definitely be an animal. We see monkeys on the island during the day. Let's walk towards it. Careful, there's that, that um, bomb crater up here too. So we see this during the day and it is in the part one video. But the reason that these abandoned barracks are in such bad condition is that they were actually 
uh, bombed during World War II. This whole island was, so a lot of the ruins here are very unstable and very dangerous to enter. So we explored in here during the day, which was scary because this place is literally falling to pieces. It's really like not <laughs> structurally sound at all. So I found it scary because of that, but now we're here at night. It's really freaky and I'm just expecting to see people walk past <laughs> these doors or windows in there. I don't think that's a door or a window, I think it's a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a light. Bats? Bats or... <gasps> they can stop. Okay, what are they? I don't know what they are. Birds? That makes me more scared than bats. Okay, I'm just going to go in. Yeah, go on. Uh, I'm just going to hide my torch here and then I can't see them and they'll be left dead. Are they swarming us? Oh, I don't know. None's touched me yet. That one got pretty close. Just walk wherever you don't see any birds. Or bats or whatever. Jesus. I mean, just like your ultimate fear. Let's just get out of here. Wow, it's so creepy in there. And the fact that there's these birds just crazy attacking us. This is like my nightmare, guys. These ones are called the Mile Long Barracks. I don't think they actually stretch a mile, but they are pretty big. So we're gonna go into another part of the building which I think may have been originally attached to that first part we were just in, but I mean, the bombings have destroyed a lot of the structure. We can hope there's no birds in there and then maybe we can try and uh, call out, you know. Oh, that was just a moth. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in. I think it's safe. Mm -hmm. You first. It looks so creepy in here. I think we should call out and see if there's maybe spirits that want to communicate and I get my spirit box out. Is there anyone here with us? Did you just make a noise? My name is Amy. I would love to know if there's anyone around us. Are you able to make a noise like that one again? If there's someone here, can you give us a sign and make a noise so that we can be aware that you are around? I heard something, but it could have been rubble falling. first noise that I heard, I don't know if you were filming, but it sounded like a dull thud. Is that getting louder? It sounds like those cicada things, like those crickets, right? That just got really loud all of a sudden. Yeah. 
It's unsettling. Let's go to another room. Wait, they come and go though. Okay, I'm gonna walk towards where I heard the flood. There is a lizard up there. A what? Lizard. Oh, it's a big one as well. It's even louder than the So, if I could guess where I heard that noise come from, mm -hmm. it'd be maybe in this room up. Maybe from up here somewhere. I mean, I, it didn't really sound like, you know, bits of stone or concrete. So we've just made it to one area where there's what we think is a swimming pool, just in the middle of the barracks. So there's this massive hole, super dangerous, super scary. Hello? Is someone following us? Are we hearing a lot of noises around us? Can we shine your torch down there? Is there someone here with us? Could you make a noise? Or throw a pebble? Let us know that you want to communicate. My name is Amy and this is Jared. I heard something down there then. I sounded like an animal. I think we should reach out here for the spirit box. I'm going to turn my torch off. I think, do you want to go night vision and do this completely dark? Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. There's definitely an animal in here. I hope. <laughs> Could there be one of those goats? I guess so. This is a spirit box session in the Maolong barracks of Corregidor Island in the Philippines. I am going to be reaching out in English. The reason being um, there was a lot of US military that was here. A lot of US soldiers actually died on this island. Hello, my name is Amy. Is there anyone around that would like to talk to me? If you would like to talk, can you come close and tell me your name? Or can you say hello? I'm so tired. I'm not sure it did. Let's just say it didn't. Let's say it did. Did you just say Jared? Can you say his name again? Are you a soldier? Are there any soldiers around that want to talk to me? Did you live here? Were you hurt here? Yeah. 
Did you die here? Blood. Blood. Were you injured? What happened to you? What year was it when you were stationed here? What country are you from? Can you tell me where you are from? How many spirits are here with me? Were you here when the bombs fell on the island? Thank you, goodbye. So we might have got some responses through there that made a little bit of sense. I will have to review all this footage though. Sometimes you hear things in the moment and they sound different um, when you listen to the recording back or sometimes you don't hear responses come through in the moment, which is always very odd to hear them in the playback, especially when they're really clear. I feel like there were some, definitely some radio interference coming through there. You always need to take these sessions with a grain of salt and they're not necessarily always a paranormal response, even if it sounds like it might be. I keep hearing noises after I stop recording. Yeah, again. And it doesn't sound... That's it. Well, that's an airplane you can hear now, but... Yeah, there's definitely a plane going. I'm hearing, like, like this. Like, in the distance, like rubble. Someone walking on, crunching yeah. on rubble. It's actually scary to hear a plane going overhead given the history of this island and the air raids and bombings that happened here. Yeah. Can you imagine? This wouldn't have been a this wouldn't have been a good noise to hear if you were stationed here. Alright guys, I'm going to bring out the ghost tube app and I'm hitting record now. So you guys are going to see some uh, readings come across your screen. But I really wanted to do a ghost tube session in the Maolong barracks on Corregidor Island and just walk around and see if we pick up on any strange magnetic fluctuations. I'm also going to reach out and ask a few questions because I can actually do so in English here. So will just walk around and see if we pick up on anything. I'm going to get my torch out though because it is super dangerous when I know that swimming pool's around this area somewhere. So we also have the ghost dictionary on, which is listening right now, but some uh, changes in the environment around me could trigger that to select a word from a database and depending if that's relevant um, um, it could be something paranormal it could be just random though show us the pool yeah the pool is open. is there anyone around that wants to talk to us Can you come close and say something to me? Maybe tell me your name. Okay, I'm not going to 
to walk this way because it has that big hole in the floor and that scares me. So then I might go back this way. Magnetic readings seem really consistent. What was that? There's an animal living in the swimming pool, I reckon. I reckon there might be one down there too, yeah. I hope not, because it could probably be trapped if there's an animal in there. Right. Did you live at these barracks? Were you here during the war? Does that noise of the plane going overhead scare you? I like some screaming. That's someone screaming. Are you in pain? Were you hurt here? Can you give me a sign to let me know that we're not alone? How bad the building is, guys. These spikes are maybe the scariest part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That way I can keep taking you to these scary places. If you guys want to do some more reading on any of the haunted locations that I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also find me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time.